Yes, thank you so much guys for staying here with us and we told you that we'll be here with our guest. Our guest is around. Are you ready for our guest? Yes. Well, he's a veteran Nigerian singer whom we have to thank for hit songs like Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga, Mr. Lecturer and many more songs. Idris Abdukarim is here with us. Oh! Thank you so much for honoring our call. Hey. We're, yes. we're just talking about you some two weeks ago, right? Yeah. And we gave you a call and you said that when you come on the show, you talk more about it. Mm. And it was even about your landlord saga, your landlord saying that you beat him and you saying that that is not even the... Uh, the real issue. What That's is cool. the real let, issue? Let, let, we'll talk about that later. So let's talk about... Uh, <laughs> you guys want to talk about? Let's talk about music right now. Yes. Let's talk let's about, talk about, about music. your music. music. Okay, and, I mean, since you started with the landlord okay. thing, maybe we should go okay. through that. You know, I'm a landlord too. I have houses in Lagos. Mm. And I have tenants too, you know. Uh, but with time to time, I like to move out to make sure that my tenants are very free. Mm. You know, most tenants don't want to do things and don't want to be free when the landlord leaves in that house. Mm. So I decided to go out, pay my money, and have a peaceful, beautiful environment for myself. Why my tenant enjoy themselves? And at the end of the year, I call it my money. Mm. And I still take care of my bills. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the fact about the Nepatin is a movement for me, which is um, enough, is enough on the estimated bills that NEPA brings to individuals who don't even have voice to speak about it. How come you're not giving the people their prepaid meters? By they the way, asked, they don't want to be addressed as NEPA any longer, PHCN. Oh, mm. whether you call it PHCN or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it was deliberate? Oh, you yes. Oh, yes. Mm. I have a campaign coming up that is strictly about Lady Abbey Light. And um, it has to do with all this Ojoro, all this wickedness that has to do with NEPA giving individual estimated bills. There are MDAs and there are MDDAs. MDDAs are those companies that NEPA will give their prepaid meter. How come you are making it so difficult for individuals to get their own prepaid meter? Even when they file for prepaid mm. meter, you intentionally will not give them that prepaid meter, saying all sort of lies, just because you know that those monies that they will charge, which are estimated bills, mm. are not going to the mm. budget of the wow. NEPA itself. They are sharing it between themselves. So Nigerians wake up, or you don't know the. So I'm waiting for NEPA so, actually. So with the landlord, or yeah. what, what, what's now the? No, no for, for the landlord, there's nothing actually. Um, for the landlord, I, I, I. Was that beat him? No, I didn't beat him. <laughs> if I beat him, you know, you, you know, go fit stand up for, 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 you know, go there, you know, you go, you go to the hospital. But there's nothing like beating. I'm a gentleman. I'm a, um, I'm a true Nigeria, and um, I abide to rules and regulation. Uh, however, the landlord is a very good friend of mine. Mm. You know what I'm saying. But anything that has to do with, say, you they harass my wife. I was about to get mm. there. Or you they yeah. harass my family. Mm. Or basically say, you cannot call me to ask me question. Then you come to my building to knock on the door when I'm not around. You go, ala go day. So basically, I'm somebody that likes to put people back in check. You understand? I won't do what you don't want me to do to you, so don't do it to me. You understand what I'm saying? As you are a landlord, that's why I'm a landlord. I mean, I visited some of my tenants the day before yesterday. I've not been into that house before since I bought the house since 2040. That was just one of my properties. Mm -hmm. And I went there and I was like, hi, hey, guys, I've not seen, I don't even know my tenants. I said, okay, make a cuckoo con see. Now my madam, they do all those things. Mm. How are you guys doing? You guys are okay? Everything good? Yeah, good. Is there any problem? Ah, bros, this one, they do this. So mm. What are they did stop us for a year? I said, oh, that one, I us problem. Uh, this one, my own problem. I go, no, I will take care of that. Oh, Joro, no wow. day. But talking about this you particular know. situation that um, hits the waves uh, in the news, has there been a res resolution, a conflict resolution? Oh, yes. Mm. You know, when, when, when police invite you, to come and talk, you know. So I saw somebody said, say, I heard Idris has been arrested. And I was like, ah, how can I be arrested? And I'm still chatting with you, hmm. you know. So I went there, I was like, ah, Mr. Idris, what happened now? So I explained, I said, I went to warn my landlord to stay 
off my privacy. And that is exactly it. And okay. yesterday we've been able to resolve it. So my my landlord is my partner. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're happy to hear <laughs> that. We, we sit down together, drink, and... The, the allegations and, uh, of wife and the former tenant. No, we, 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 I, just, just, just call it miscommunication or misunderstand. Okay. Hmm. okay. That's quite now, <clears throat> let's, let, let's talk music right about now. Yeah. Um, you've been in the game. Now, you've been seeing the way the Nigerian music scene is right now. Um, the young guys, they just post their song on social media. Do you want to break it down how distributing your song back then in those days was like and looking at what it is now? Back then, it's a jungle, jungle justice, jungle fever, jungle craziness that all you need to do is you got to go to every radio station, you got to go to every TV station. You have to be on your toes. For me, as Idris Abdul Karim, when I came into Lagos, I didn't have a house to stay. My father has houses, but I'm starting all on my own. Mm. You understand? So I lived under the bridge for some time. Wow. And from there, I moved to Ray Power. And um, there's this uncompleted building opposite Ray Power. And everywhere well, it was, it was bush that time. And um, it's, may so rest in peace, Steve Kadri. Mm. He, mm. he walked up to me and I was like, ah. I'm a boy, I don't share my real name, no uncompleted video. I don't share my name, no money bros. I think I know the meeting with him, and all on that stuff. I'm getting married to Kenya, to D1, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be married, but I'm going to believe I'm going to marry one job. I'm going to show you the demo, money bros. Demo, I'm going to freestyle, I'm going to show you. And I started doing freestyle, and Eddie was just laughing. I was like, okay, hold on. I have a brother, his name is Eddie Montana. Um, tomorrow we're going to be going for Chelsea Grand Slam, if you remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, come with me. You meet with Eddie. You guys can do something. Come back to Ray Power, do a song. Then I'll see how to take it to Kenny. In the evening, I have a, one Jesse. I have only one Claude. Mm -hmm. Wow. The, the, Jesse, the Jesse was number nine. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. You know, so I wash it in the evening and Wait wear it in, in the morning. The morning. So that morning, I didn't wear it at all. So I made sure that that number nine with all fade finish. Look fresh. <laughs> so around nine o'clock, Steve Kadri came out, you know, and um, it was like, ah, I'm a boy, you know, I'm ready, money, I'm ready, only I won't boss. You know, I was so, and where I was going, I was just reciting Kurusi. I was just like, God, God, this is the mm. time. Because my mind is still back home to my mom, mm. you know, because I needed to take my mom out of that ghetto. I know what was going to happen in the not in the next 20, 25 years mm. back then. So I left and uh, I met with Eddie and we had a beautiful conversation and we came back to Ripa together. Then Bengawe, enough respect. Boiga Shotunde, enough respect. You know, uh, they came, I was like, ah, which instrument do you guys have in mind? I was like, MC Light, if it's MC Light. So, Shakomo. Came mm. So we recorded Chakomo and um, Eddie went back to his house. Tony was not in the, picture. Yeah. in the picture at, yeah. that, at that moment. <laughs> so um, Eddie went back. So I went back to the uncompleted building. And um, like a day after, Steve was like, oh my boy, oh my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy. So I went and said, my boy, my boy. So he took me inside the library. Okay. And Sula So, the rector, so was, was, mm -hmm. was, yeah, was in the library at that moment. And Sula was like, ah, Steve, can I say, please do me a favor. If Kenny comes or D1 comes, tell them that me, Steve Kadri, wants them to listen to this boy's song that Raymond Dupuis sent me <laughs> on errand. So I was very careful. I was just praying. I was just hoping. Then all of a sudden, D1 came in. So immediately I saw the one, I prostrated immediately. Mm -hmm. you know, ah, Baba, please, mm -hmm. just listen to my song, even if you're not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. Just listen to my song. So the one looked at me very carefully. I guess he wasn't in a good mood that day. Mm. And he looked at Sule and said, I'm going to report you to the GM. <laughs> <laughs> For this rubbish. For bringing people into the studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Immediately that happened, Sule, was, Sule now did like this. That should go. Yeah, so as I was leaving, I was crying. And something told me that when she made it, make it a little. 
and immediately I took another step. Another one says, relax, be patient, go and tell Steve Cadre what happened. So I waited in the uncompleted building for Steve Cadre. After two hours, 30 minutes, Steve came and Steve was like, oh my boy, can you share my mom? Should Baba? I'm only no more Baba do one, but don't want to see. Mood. Oh, yeah. He now held my hand again for the second time. Mm -hmm. Straight to, to the, the studio. No, this time, <laughs> Kenny and Dewan are presenting oh, the yeah, studio already. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So from the glasses, it was like, <laughs> Steve was like, Steve yeah. was like, yeah. hello. So Kenny was like, me? Mm -hmm. he was like, yeah. So Kenny now said he was coming then. He came. Do you know the first experience that I had with Kenny Ogunbe? Immediately, he opened the door. I was the next person by the door. He was like, hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Oh, wow. Everything wow. good? You all right, man? What's up, man? I said, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> then that changed my mentality about individuals. Yes. At that moment. Mm. So, Steve, what can I do for you? He says, please listen, listen to this. Kenny was like, I'm on radio. He said, please. The rest is history. <laughs> Kenny was like, Kenny was like this shit is going on radio right now. MDC! The rest is the rest, the rest, the rest, the rest, the rest, ladies and gentlemen, is history. history. The rest wow. is beautiful story. Wow. The rest wow. is history. Wow. 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 Ah, guys. Eddie, Eddie was like, Eddie, every music was everywhere. So Eddie had to leave where he was, he was coming. Oh. So it was mm. two months later, okay. we met we, Tony. We, we have to go on a quick break oh, okay. right now. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on a quick break. And when we come back, Idris Abdukari is still right here <laughs> in the building. Stay here with us. <laughs> Checked out that absolute jam, of course, by Idris Abdul Karim live in Yankee. Fun facts that is where he met his wife. No, yeah. be no, be lie. <laughs> All right, so right about now, it's time for our hot topics. <clears throat> and we have a couple of things that we're about to break down, you know, on. And the first thing we're talking about is Bonner Boy's statement that nobody paved the way for him in the industry. What are you thinking about that? I think, with due respect, Bonner Boy needs to apologize. Um, at least Fela made it happen for you and you stole from a lot of Fela's song to become who you are and you stole from Afrobeat to become who you are even though Fela's songs are strictly about messages that had value to the lives of people what is your song all about? Hmm. He never, he never, he he never said, he said Fela apart from Fela, apart from Fela and all of that. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. So yeah. If, yeah. If, yeah, if he did that, perfect. Hmm. That's good. So that's nobody, good. no other person paid to do it's, for That's him. the truth, because he's using Fela's song to do what he has to do. But mm -hmm. also, we made it happen for this generation to be successful because we fought with our life. We fought, Kenny Ogunbe did, you did, a lot of people did, because I remember when Kenny Ogunbe was going to play Shakomo, he was like, from today on, we're going to be playing 70% Nigerian song, mm. you know, um, 30, That's right. 30, 30, 30%, mm. That's right. 30%, so that made 30, 30 foreign music. music. So I would tell Bonaboy that I think you, are, you make a mistake there because without some people, you wouldn't have been who you are. Because mm. back then, when you go to any record company like Premier Music, uh, Sony Music, they will tell you to go back to your state and go and sing traditional music. And for people like Wed MC, for the people like Zaki Aze, for people like Daddy Shoki, for people like all those people to make it happen, to generation to generation, to make it happen, they fought for the, this music industry. So you should respect that. Don't be selfish about that. Mm. It is extremely important because without them, you wouldn't have been who you are. However, Idris Abdul Karim single-handedly came out and fought that revolution when 50 Cent 50, came to yes. Africa mm. and I was asked to leave the, the business class for 50 Cent. Mm. And I said, no, anything when I give 50 Cent, now I will give me. Mm. If I give 50 Cent executive suits for any hotel, I won't make my room the opposite 50 Cent. If you give 50 Cent 17 babes, I want 17 babes. If you give 50 Cent 17 <laughs> Domprion and sh anything, you you know, do you know why? Hmm. Because Americans are not the one buying the shares. Americans are not the one buying the drinks. Mm. Nigerians are the one buying it. Mm. And you wouldn't have invited me for your shows if Idris Abdul was okay. not all over the places. Mm -hmm. So uh, Bonaboy, take it easy, Omi. 
take it easy. Some people made it happen for you. Well said. Okay, so <laughs> there was another matter, and that's um, Messi Aigbe making a statement about single girls and married men, you know, uh, securing the bag. And, <laughs> you know, it was Valentine period, and yeah. so she was talking to uh, single girls that uh, if you're dating a married man and he brings you flower, don't even collect it. That How can you be dating a married man and then you want to collect flower? Secure the bag like uh, should get something you, more you, you should get something very <laughs> from the married man. Okay. And, and so people came at her and then they were saying that are you encouraging single girls to do this and all that? Okay. So I really want to know what are your thoughts about Okay, that? so I love the Yoruba proverbs a lot. And um, this one I'm gonna say, I don't know if I'm right or not, if I'm just correct me. Irini Sini is Sonny Lodger. So what does it interpret it? Interpret it, please. What does so that mean? So now, for the people who don't know, for you to say... That's why I said that, you know, you, you just so completed it for me. He help said should help you. Yes, yeah, so what does it mean? It means But you that, knew what it meant oh, yes. before you said so it. It means, it means, I it means that Yoruba. who you are is who you represent. Hmm. <laughs> who you are is who you represent. What you stand for is what you represent. Listen, man... Um, Mercy, uh, I, I am a big fan of her, you understand. Okay. But I think um, if you look at it very well, what she's saying basically is, lucky for the winner, I could you for the loser. I'm a star, I got to do what I got to do to make my money. If you can do it too, you got to do what you got to do to make your money. And sometimes it's the reason why they have to leave their marriages. So maybe if you check on where well, the man no get fought before she leave her marriage. So she enjoys yeah. this life and she just want to live it and she want, and she's feeling good about it and she needs to encourage every other person in that relationship. I mean, who are single mothers to like, hey, go, go see, go, go, go see success, go, go in marriage. You, you heard that now? There's no success in marriages. All you need to do is make money from anybody you don't know day. Okay, Talk, talking about marriage, uh, you must have heard about this Tonto DK and Churchill situation. Yeah. Now Churchill is suing Tonto DK to court yeah. for defamation of character. Yeah. And it's been a back and forth, the child involved. What's your take on this? Yeah. So for me, I think that um, my advice for every individual that out there is um, don't go into um, marriages because somebody is beautiful, because they have money or something. Make sure that you know that you guys are compatible. Make sure that you know that she likes what you like. Make sure that you know that there's something about you that's going to keep you guys together for the rest of your life, no matter where it is. I mean, for God's sake, Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce, Beyonce. and they're still big, together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what are we saying? This all, come on, I beg, talk on that too. Okay, yes, we, uh, we, we can go on and on, but we have to talk about new music mm -hmm. from Idris Abdukare. Wow. Yes. Well, watch out for Amotekun. Uh, uh, that's the album. The no, it's a new song. I'm okay. Um, okay. Um, you know, I was telling you on the phone mm -hmm. that um, I would like, I wouldn't like to come for this interview until my video yes, is ready. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember? True. So the video will be ready. So watch out for Amotekun. All right. So Amotekun basically, it's going to direct everything that Nigeria is, meaning that at the moment the police cannot handle the security of Nigeria. At the moment, if anybody is telling you that everything is okay in Nigeria, that person is lying. At the moment, I want to use this opportunity that I live in the north. I have, I have, I have relatives in the north. We grew up together, and they are beautiful people, so much beautiful Hausa Fulani people, but their percentage is no more than 2%. And that at this moment, if the Hausa Fulani can have what we call Sharia police, Isba police, why are they scared of the Amotekun police? You and I know that on the Southwest Road, that a lot of women that came in from America that are Yorubas, that are Igbos, were kidnapped and raped in the presence of their children. Are we kidding? Are we, are we, that, are we, are we that mute not to talk about the situation in the country? just because you are trying to not to offend some political interest. Let's leave that out of it. I want to congratulate anybody that is in charge of Amotekun in the Southwest, all the Southwest governor, I want to congratulate you all. And I'm happy about Amotekun. Amotekun will set the record straight.
Ojoro no day. Watch out for Wow. Enough said. I mean, what yeah. can we add to that? Yes. <laughs> On that note, ladies and gentlemen, Idris Abdul Karim has spoken. We just have to go. Hope you guys enjoyed every bit of the show. Mm -hmm. Throwback Thursday is always a vibe. And we have to go. Thank yes, you so much, UJ. Yes, thank, thank you very you so much. Thank you. Thank you. For myself, <laughs> OJ, Onipot, and Dara. Yes. 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 <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs>